welcome back to the Rev Render Garage. Today we're going to be diving into a very, very common problem on any small engine vehicle, especially if you use Mad Dogs, and that is a vacuum fuel pump. The most common thing to go wrong, uh, losing vacuum when you're trying to go you know, up a hill, maxed out, you just can't keep up with the fuel your carburetor needs, or after sitting for a little while, if you don't start it, it just loses vacuum completely. Either way, we are going to show you how to inexpensively it, and put yeah. an electric fuel pump onto your Mad Dog scooter, which will normalize the pressure at all times. So going into this kit, we're going to be into this kit less than 30 $35. The kit that we are using right here. Yep. Let's get right into showing you what we have to install today. This is what we're going to be installing today. The electric fuel pump, we're going to be doing 2 to 3.5 PSI flow rate which will keep it perfect for these kind of carburetors, won't we'll overflow the carb, and we will keep it at a good stable rate. So this is how it comes, all in the package. This is a fuel filter, micro fuel pump right here. So handy having that nice little multi-board that Shane had gotten worked up for me. And we'll be dropping a video about making one of these soon if you guys are intrigued about that or want to maybe do something like this for yourself. Everything on here has been 3D printed. The next step for this is going to be removing this and threading on the fuel filter right onto the fuel pump itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the threads going on. Not a bing. So next step will be to actually extend this power wire. So this power wire is gonna need to go up to a constant power uh, once your key's on. How far do you need to extend it? Just to be safe, I'm probably gonna extend it like three, four feet. I'm gonna route mine up under the battery. So I'm gonna go from here, under the battery, up into here, and then mount it up into somewhere up in this bundle. I don't think I'm gonna go right to the battery. I'll find somewhere in there. I will get that done off camera. Okay, so now jumping back into this, you can see I the power wire I have extended and put myself a little bit of length there and put myself to a bullet connector as I did go onto the bike already and put a double bullet connector onto the uh, constant power I want once the ignition is on. And I'll show you that once I get to there as well. And then going back to the fuel filter, you can see I actually uh, was able to shove quarter inch fuel line uh, over the 5 16 inch and fitting over here. And that will go into our uh, fuel tank. And then over here, uh, yep, below, uh, this is going to go same size quarter inch line into one of these step down fuel filters. I think you see here there's a little uh, step down. So then I'm going to be able to shove a smaller eighth inch over here and shove that onto there to then get this onto the carburetor and not have no fuel leaks. All right, so now we are over here at the bike. We are going to take the seat off, get this out of our way. And then normally the, well on these mad dogs at least, uh, you'll have your vacuum fuel pump mounted on the bottom of this. I've already taken the liberty of taking that all apart. So I can just remove this under seat tray, get that out of our way. And then you can see what we're dealing with here. So this is our vacuum fuel pump. Um, so this has a, uh, this is the vacuum port right here. So this goes into a T that goes into the vacuum port on your carburetor. And then it goes into your vacuum port on your intake tube. And then it goes uh, fuel into your carburetor and fuel from the fuel pump. So if any one of those lines has a little bit of a leak in it, it's going to cause you issues. Especially this top line. So this is what we're going to be removing and replacing today. Uh, I'm going to grab this one off of here. Intake boot. So obviously, we're going to be removing vacuum lines because we're not going to need them anymore yep. with an electronic fuel pump. So it'll you, simplify it a lot. You will need uh, some little nipples to put over those vacuum lines. Um, yes, you will need to tap those because if you have any kind of vacuum leak your bike will run if if it runs at all it will not run good one right here can you see that you hear it now maybe oh there we go yep so let's get that off this right here and that's where your feed in for your music pump will go and then all i got left is this from the tank so i've already unbolted my tank i'm just gonna lift this up oh all right but there you go that's that's everything might drip some fuel. That's a jumble mess. And if you have an EVAP system, like most of these newer scooters do because of emissions, it's even worse. All new canister in there and 10 more freaking lines. And we'll be making a video on how to remove that too. 
Okay, so next step, we're grabbing our fuel pump here and figuring out a place where we're gonna mount this. So on this bike, I'm going to be running an air ride system. So I'm already removing this under tray. So I'm not gonna be dealing about that. Um, so my air ride system is mounting mainly in this area. I'm thinking about mounting this somewhere, somewhere in like this area. Um, so I think this is where I'm gonna get it over to Shane and Sean. Have them kind of design us our own custom mount for this. Hey man, hey Austin and I are working on this uh, fuel pump uh, install on this blue project scooter. We figured out where we figured out where we want to mount it, but now the problem is figuring out how to mount it. And I think you can probably design something that would help us out here. Let me show you what we're talking about here. So what do you need from us? I need the, the dimensions from the bottom plate. I need the diameter of the mounting holes. Uh, the measurement from center mounting hole to center mounting hole. Alright, we can do that. Alright. All right. I will cat it up. Just take long and then I'll send you the file and you guys can print it out and test it. Looks like Shane and Austin down at the South Shop need something. We're going to kind of parlay off of a mount that I made for an air ride um, suspension air compressor. The reason I'm doing this is I'm going to reuse part of this because, as you can see in our CAD design over here, we have two circular mounts and the big one is the bar that we're going to be mounting the uh, electronic fuel pump on. So, I can use the same exact measurements for this. Alright, now that we're all done, I am going to send this file down to Shane and Austin and let them print out a prototype and see if it works. And I'm really hoping it does. Well, ask and you shall receive. One of the beautiful things about having two different shops and multiple brains to uh, tackle this stuff. This is what he came up with. This is a 3D modeled part. It's going to be the part, uh, but this is how it's going to work. It's going to, if I don't drop it, it's going to clip up onto the bar and the fuel pump is going to literally, with some nuts and bolts, screw onto there and clamp it onto that bar. Okay, so bring this mount over to the bike just to test fit how it's gonna go over this. Oh. Oh, just like that. So we're going to go ahead and grab the fuel pump and start connecting the two fuel lines. Obviously, this end is going to go into the carburetor. The here. smaller end. So this line, I'm going to run down through here, and I'm going to put to our fuel tank. So I'm probably going to end up trimming this as well, as I'm probably not going to need this line to be this long. Okay, so that is good. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep fuel on the line for a second. So this is just going to go straight into that 8th inch NPT fitting right here. I'm going to grab a clamp really fast because I don't want to take that back off. A pair of pliers and get that clamp on there. But So that is connected and then the next step will be wiring and then now we can work on getting this thing mounted up. So let's grab our mount and get some hardware. Okay, so got our mount here. I'm gonna go ahead and clip it over here. Bam, I love the sound of that. Yeah. Um, but I think see here, we got the fuel pump hard, uh, fully mounted. Um, so now we have this line done, that line done. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall my gas tank. And yep, you see, definitely too much line. Okay, so went ahead and cut off a little bit of that line. Now it sits a lot more flush. All we have left to do is the wiring. So we're gonna connect a power and a ground. So, like I showed you, I have already extended my power. So, I'm going to run this underneath my gas tank. And then, like I said, I have already went ahead and put a double bolt connector on a red and a black. So, I have one for a constant power for my air ride. And then one for a constant power once the key is on. So, the black is for when the key is on. If it's not, you'll hear the fuel pump right now. You don't. So, got that connected. And now I'm going to, actually you probably wouldn't hear it yet because the ground's not connected. So if I connect the ground and you hear the fuel pump, I'm connected to the wrong one. But I'm just going to run it off the same ground that our actual chassis harness runs off of right here. Yeah. Like a true pro. I think that's about it. Now power's connected, ground's connected. Fuel is coming from the tank. So fuel from the tank, going to the carb. 
Oh, got to cap off my vacuum ports. Two of these things right here. You can grab some zip ties if you like. I doubt I'm going to need them. So I got one right here that came off the top. Yeah, they usually press on them pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got one over here on the intake loop. Yep. All right, so now, theoretically, I should grab my key over here. And the fuel pump should start running. Start putting fuel into this fuel filter. That's, that'll be our telltale sign. And then it should start. No problem. There it goes. We have success. All right. So it just, it just had to prime. Whew. Okay. So just like that. So it did take it a second to prime. So it had us a little confused there for a second as we thought it should be a little faster than that. Um, but once it got primed, it seems to work flawlessly. But you hear how immediately that starts. And this is dead cold. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, there's a couple kits out there that are plug and play for this. Um, if you have like a DC system, AC system, this will work for any or you know, AC or DC as you just have to wire the two wires yourself. And it's probably like an eighth of the price of half of these. I'm into this kit now, $30, including, including the fuel line. Uh, Cause it was just a little bit of uh, quarter inch fuel line and eight and eight eighth inch entity fuel line which you can reuse the fuel line off of your old vacuum pump if you wanted to all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that simple how-to on how to make your scooter that much more reliable or any small engine vehicle you may be putting this onto and getting rid of this crappy pesky little vacuum fuel pump nice new micro universal electronic fuel pump so i really hope you guys enjoyed that and get use out of this make sure you uh, Send us some pictures once you guys do. We'd love to see it on your guys' builds. Uh, one of the things that we want to make sure you guys recognize here on Rev Render Garage is we are all about showing you guys how to do things on the cheap. Not necessarily cheap as in bad quality, but just inexpensively. So you're not having to spend $250 on some kit that does the same thing that we just showed you can do the 30, same thing for $30. Bucks, yeah. 35 bucks. Rev Render out. out.